Good morning from Spain. This is my review of the Cube ACD29 with the 29 inch wheels versus the High Bike Esduro 2. Uh, I think it might be called 7 as well. But um, both very good bikes. I've had them now. This one I've had a bit longer, about two months. And I've done about 500 kilometers. What are the major differences I found? Probably the wheel size. It might be a little bit harder to get to speed with the 29 inch wheels, but when you're there, it's got this little sort of skip, zing, and they're just easier to pedal when you're at that speed, especially on a road or a dirt track. Both bikes have been good, reliable. Battery life, which is better. Well, it's on charge now. I'd say they're, they're very similar. I went from here to the coast, about 50 kilometers, and I had it on mid, mid mode, I think that's called sport, not turbo or high. And it did, uh, I still had 70% battery when I got there. I took the battery charger, charged it up that night, and came back again, no problem. Good trip for that. But if I was doing it again, that long road bike lane, I'd probably take this one. It'd just be a little bit easier. It's got the Bosch Active Plus, not quite as powerful as the Bosch Performance line, but it's, it's adequate. You know, if you want exercise, which is what these are for really, not to take it completely away like a motorbike. This has got 70 newton meters. It's the Yamaha motor. And um, what can I say about that? It's a different sort of more cadence sensor. So when you pedal, it gives you back. When you pedal with the, this has got a pedal sensor. So you get more of an immediate power, I'd say. This is an XL frame. And it's a big bike, but I'm six foot one and it, and it feels good. It really does go like an arrow down when I go downhill. I've, I've been over 50 kilometers an hour on it. Perfectly stable. This does um, downhill, I've done about 47, I think. Not, not quite as fast as the bigger wheels. This is 27 and a half inch wheels. Put the seat suspension on this. It's 31.6 millimeters, I believe. I bought it for the cube actually, but it wouldn't fit because the cube is 30.7 millimeters. So it's just a, less than a millimeter difference there, and it wouldn't fit. I think the the frame on the high bike is beautiful. That curve there. Probably creates more attention. Girls are said in um, cafes, que guapa, to a bicicleta. And the cubes being black with the battery in the in set in the frame. Probably a lot of, pe lot of people don't realize it is electric and they look carefully. Cube uses Shimano gear change. So you've, you're changing to a higher gear with your forefinger and you're changing down with your thumb. Whereas with the this system on the high bike, I've got Tektron brakes and um, I've forgotten what the name of the gear is that's called. SRAM. Yeah, SRAM gears there. Let's see it. Like that protection. Had a puncture with this one. 
the back, go down overnight, the bike actually fell over. So I decided to, um, couldn't see any tack or anything in the tyre. I used green slime, you just take a little pin out of the valve, they give you a little tool, put the tube on, put the nozzle on the bottle and just pump in you know, about a quarter of a bottle, half what you would for a motorbike. And it's worked fine. And I've also got that protection now, it's probably sloshing around inside if anything pierces that tyre. That slime should come out of the hole. You can actually prevent punctures. What else did I do on this? Um, I found that the um, it was just sort of juddering a bit there. Now it just needed those two screws loosening off and that tightening up. And this one, as soon as I got it out of the box, it squirted out hydraulic fluid from here. It, then, it, then it seemed to settle itself and it worked for days. Then it came out again and I lost brakes altogether. I actually did that long trip without the front brake. But in the morning I went to a bike shop and we put on a, a little insert and uh, a Vellana it's called. It's just a copper ring, both copper, very small. They go on the end of the pipe. Chip chopped off the end of the pipe, put that on. Then we had to get this flat, pour in the liquid, take out the little plastic inserts, and then you just pump the brake until no more air comes out, fill it up again, put the put the reservoir cap back on. That's the bleed screw if you need that. But you don't need to bleed it down there. So I learnt with that. Good, that's my review of the High bike, SD Duro, and the Cube 29 Acid E.